Hi, I'm Sherry McConnell from A Quilting Life, and I'm here visiting the Fat Quarter Shop Studios today, and I'm going to share with you a simple tutorial to make a patchwork Christmas stocking. It's a lot of fun, so let's get started. The fabric requirements and supplies list to make these patchwork stockings is really simple. You'll want some fusible fleece, and you'll want some fabric for your stocking, your cuff, and your lining. And I'm making a red and white stocking today, so I've just got my red and my white fabrics. And you'll be able to find out all of the amounts and cutting instructions on the stocking template. Okay, let's make some half square triangles. You'll need two strips, three inches by width of fabric from your red fabric, and two strips, three inches by width of fabric from your white fabric. And you're gonna cut 20 three inch squares from each of those fabrics. And I'm gonna show you how to make half square triangles now using the Creative Grids four in one triangle ruler. I'm gonna take the white squares and we're going to line up the black line at the edge of the ruler on the diagonal. We draw one line right along the edge of the ruler and another line using the groove and that gives us our two stitching lines. We put that together, right sides together with the red fabric and you're gonna sew on each of those lines. So you're gonna have a piece that looks like this. It's been sewn. Next we're gonna cut these in half and we can use the ruler again, lining it up on the diagonal. You can cut that in half. That will give you two half square triangle sections from each. And we're gonna trim these up. We're gonna line our stitching line up with the two inch mark on the ruler. And we're gonna trim off that extra. And you're going to do that for all of your half square triangle units. And you will be making 40 of these little half square triangle units. You can also trim off the little dog ears before we start putting them together. Okay, we're ready to put everything together now to make the stocking. Okay, it's time to put the stocking front together. Assemble your 40 half square triangles as shown. You'll have four rows with six half square triangles each, and then you'll have four rows with four half square triangles each, and you'll sew those sections together. Then trace the template you can use regular paper or I like to use freezer paper. If you use regular paper, you'll want to pin your template to this fabric piece, trace around it and cut. But what I like to do is actually use freezer paper because if you iron it, it will adhere to your fabric. Make sure that the shiny side of the freezer paper is facing the fabric, not your iron. And then just arrange it how you want it. And you can just press. You'll notice that the freezer paper will start to adhere to your fabric. Makes it really easy to trim. And once you can tell that the freezer paper is adhered, um, you can either use scissors or a rotary cutter to cut out your stocking shape. Okay, you're gonna continue using that, that stocking template to cut out your stocking back. Make sure that it's reversed from your stocking front. And you're also going to cut out two stocking linings. Now, my lining fabric is white so it, it doesn't really matter if they're reversed or not, but if you're using a print fabric, make sure that you cut a lining fabric and a reverse lining fabric. Um, after that, you've got all your parts and pieces. You'll also wanna use the template to cut out two pieces of the fusible fleece in the stocking shape. And you'll fuse one to the back of your stocking and you'll fuse one to the front of your stocking. Um, 
You just use a regular iron. It's very simple to fuse that on. And now we're ready to make our cuff. Okay, let's make the cuff. You're going to need a rectangle that's eight inches by 12 and a quarter inches. And we're actually gonna sew that right sides together along that eight inch side. Once you have it sewn, you're going to want to press that seam open. And then you are going to turn it with the right side out and the seam on the inside to make your cuff. And it'll look just like that and the top edges will be finished. After you make the cuff, you're gonna to wanna to make your stocking hanger. So you'll take a piece of fabric that's two and a half inches by five inches and you're going to fold it in half. I usually just finger press to get a crease right down the middle. And then I fold the outer edges in to the middle and press and fold the outer ed edge on the other side in the middle and press so that we have a piece like this. The final step is just to fold that in half and sew a seam right down the edge so that you have your stocking loop hanger. And we'll be folding this in half to attach it to our stocking. Okay, now it's time to put the stocking together. We're gonna to take the stocking front and the stocking back. We're gonna place them right sides together and we're going to sew using a quarter inch seam all the way around starting at the back of the, the top of the back of the stocking sewing all the way around the curve and back up to the top of the front of the stocking. And you'll want to back stitch at the beginning and at the end. Okay, I've sewn the stocking front and back right sides together. I also sewed the stocking lining together, right sides together, using the same exact method. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your stocking and you're going to turn it right side out. You can just reach in and pull the bottom of the toe out. And you just want to kind of push out the toe, make it look like a stocking. Um, and I usually finger press this, and then I also always take it over to the iron and I will iron it and give it a good press. Now the linings, you're going to leave just as they are. Okay, this is the fun part. We get to put it all together. You're going to take your stocking lining. Remember the right side of the fabric is on the inside. And I just stick my hand in it and I place it inside of the stocking. And I try to push the end of the toe of the lining all the way down to where it meets the end of the toe of the stocking. And just kind of work it, work it around. Um, you want to match the upper edges and match the back seam and the front seam. And what I like to do is use Clover Wonder Clips to just kind of keep everything in place. And so I will pin just every couple inches around that top edge, not pin, clip. <laughs> this will keep the top of the lining and the stocking together while you're sewing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fold the stocking hanger in half at this point we're going to also clip it in right at the at the back seam. And I, I just use a wonder clip to hold that as well. So we've got the lining. And as you look inside the stocking, we've got the right side. Um, and then we've got the stocking. And the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to add the cuff right now. We're going to line up that back seam with the back of the stocking. And we're also going to stick it inside the stocking. And then what I do is I just um, unclip my clip 
to add that cuff in. And I just continue around, clipping it to the edge of the stocking and lining. So we've got a, a layer here. We've got the stocking, the stocking lining, then we've got the stocking hanger that we added in, and then finally we have the cuff. Okay. And once you have that all clipped up in place, take it to the sewing machine and sew with a quarter inch seam. Okay, we've sewn the stocking, the lining, the stocking hanger and the cuff at the top with a quarter inch seam. And now as this is the fun part, you just pull that cuff out and you're going to turn it out to the outside of your stocking. And you can use the stocking hanger to kind of help pull it out. And I like to take it over to the iron, give it, give it a press at this point. But now what you have is you have your, your finished stocking. Your cuff is completely finished. Your stocking is completely finished. There are no raw seams on the inside or the outside and everything's just ready to go. Um, you can use your favorite fabrics, you can use solids. I did one in polka dots, I did one with some fun little novelty prints, and you can even vary the fabrics that you use for your cuff. Okay, that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoy making these stockings. Be sure and download the template and pattern information from Fat Quarter Shop, and happy quilting.